I'm excited to talk to you about investing in innovation to create breakthrough technology solutions, especially in the area of energy. That's because energy is the most important industry on earth. This is a graph of our energy over the last 800 years and our GDP per capita related to that. You can see for about 700 of those years, it's flat, but then it takes off like crazy once we learn how to harness cheap energy. That's because energy accounts for all of our comfort, convenience, productivity, safety, and dramatic GDP growth. And energy is the biggest industry on earth. It's fully 10% of the $86 trillion global GDP, or $8.6 trillion a year that we spend on energy. And of that $8.6 trillion, $7 trillion of it annually is coal, oil, and gas. It's 20 times larger than the existing $350 billion renewables energy market. The renewable energy market is taking off like crazy. The last decade, it really took off like crazy because the price went down. And I would say the last decade was about reducing the cost of making electrons when the sun was shining or the wind was blowing. And here you can see the dramatic reduction in the price of wind energy and the even more dramatic reduction in the price of solar energy. Basically, 2017 was a major tipping point in all of history when for the first time ever, you can make electrons from the sun or the wind for cheaper than you could by burning fossil fuels. So renewables won, but maybe at the wrong time of day because they're inter intermittent, only when the sun is shining and the wind is blowing. Not only at the wrong time of day, but sometimes in the wrong place. Renewables aren't always in the exact place where people need them. The sun gives us 10,000 times more energy than we use, but it's not always where the people need it. Because we can transport energy around the earth, that powers civilization. And in fact, if we couldn't transport it, civilization would grind to a halt if we couldn't get the energy to where it's needed. This decade will be all about transportable renewable energy. Until now, you couldn't transport it. But basically, if we can find a way to transport renewable energy, we can make a huge impact on civilization. You could unlock seven trillion dollars of potential that potential i mentioned earlier of coal oil and gas if you had something that was transportable hydrogen is the only transportable renewable fuel it has no co2 emissions incredible energy density but it happens to be the most abundant element in the universe except that on earth all of hydrogen is connected to something else it's either connected to fossil fuels in the form of hydrocarbons or to biological mass or to water. The Earth is mostly water, H2O, containing hydrogen. We need a way to separate it. Hydrogen is so abundant, but almost all the hydrogen today is dirty hydrogen. It's most of it, most of it's made by steam methane reforming, like burning and splitting natural gas, CH4, or splitting it from water, but splitting it from natural gas is one third the cost of splitting it from water. So only about 0.1% of all the hydrogen in the world today is made renewably with electrolysis and water splitting. So what do we do? The way to solve this is to invest in breakthroughs for energy. These breakthroughs need to come from all the things that are going down in cost. Using more computation, Moore's law has driven down the cost of computation dramatically. We can use that to compete with the price of natural resources. Or to use robotics and automation, using AI, computer vision, machine learning to scale things or using new materials and new methods of fabrication, using 3D printing and new synthesis materials. All of these are where the big opportunities for investment are and where the big breakthroughs in renewable energy can be. We set out to use computation, robotics, all of these things to really make a breakthrough in concentrated solar. We set out to apply AI and computation to traditional CSP to dramatically reduce the price, to dramatically reduce the price of storage, and to dramatically increase the capacity factor. This is a picture of a field we built, and in the lower right is what the camera sees of that field using computer vision to make thousands of micro adjustments in those mirrors to achieve very, very high temperatures at a cost never before possible, and to allow us to store and make the energy all day long. When we first had this idea of using more computation instead of more steel, we pitched this idea to Bill Gates. He got very excited about that idea and became one of our first investors. This idea of using things that are going down in price to compete with fossil fuels, to compete with natural resources, 
was very, very exciting and I think is a big frontier of new investment opportunity. We built a system that had six fundamental breakthroughs, the first of which I described using AI computer vision to do closed loop tracking, but many, many others, all to put together this one system that we call a sunlight refinery, a revolutionary green hydrogen and 24 seven electricity plant. Once you can make green hydrogen cost effectively, you can make the hydrogen where the sun is good and transport it to where the demand is good, but the sun is not. That really opens up lots of new opportunities. Why does this work? Well, to make green hydrogen affordable, you need low cost renewable electrons and a high capacity factor. They need to be almost always on. That's to leverage the capital expense of the electrolyzer. Well, solar energy typically only has a capacity factor of 20, 25%. Wind energy typically has a capacity factor in the 30% range. Maybe with offshore wind, you can get into the low 40s. But this technology developed at Heliogen allows us to get 85% plus capacity factor. That is what's necessary to make the low cost hydrogen. It's a modular plant. It's about 600 meters by 600 meters. It has that 85% capacity factor renewable energy. It's less than five cents per kilowatt hour, fully levelized cost and it produces about a million kilograms of hydrogen per year. It uses the robotic installation maintenance and cleaning idea to make it very, very affordable and large scale deployable. And it drives down the cost of hydrogen to only $1.80 a kilogram. So fully green fuel for less than the cost of fossil fuel, less than the cost of making hydrogen in the dirty way, you can now make it completely green. What this means is right where the sun is strong, you can make a sunlight refinery. Instead of an oil refinery producing a fuel that you can ship at X dollars per million BTU, say $20 per million BTU, you can make a green fuel that you can ship and move around the world for less than $15 per million BTU. So green fuel for less than the price of fossil fuel, pretty much for the first time in history. What that means is you go where the sun is strong, like right here in the Emirates, and you can take a portion of the Emirates and equal all of the oil output of the entire UAE or in Saudi Arabia, only 4% of the land would equal the entire oil output with equivalent hydrogen. Simple physics shows that when you convert sunlight to fuel, you can effectively be a solar energy exporter because you can make that fuel where the sun is good and move it to another location where the sun is not. Effectively, physics is where we need to go. And I look back on the, all the eras of energy and we started off with the biology era. We got all of our energy from plants and from using our muscles. That's where civilization began. A couple hundred years ago, we entered the chemistry era where we got all of our energy from burning things. This new era, we need to enter the physics era. We'll get all our energy from the sun, wind, and nuclear. This will dramatically boost civilization. What's exciting about this is it's an incredible investment opportunity. This coming decade will be the transportable renewable energy decade. We need to invest in every breakthrough around the perimeter, all the per perimeter technologies that are necessary to achieve this. It really is the single biggest opportunity in history, not only economic, but to make a huge positive impact. I would love to talk to you about potential for collabor collaboration. My email address is Bill at Heliogen. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience.